Spring has sprung. Not yet. It's twenty-first. It's the first day of spring, apparently. Is it? Well, the twentieth. There's a big, big debate going on. It's the twentieth or the twenty-first. Well, anyway. Storm Gareth refuses to go away. This is the fourth day of really heavy wind, and we've been moored up at the same place behind four days now. It's getting a bit boring. Three, four sleepless nights with things rattling around on the roof. It doesn't matter how many things we take up on our roof, something still seems to be making the noise, doesn't it? Well, after the second night, I decided to get up at 11 o'clock, <laughs> get out and remove everything from the roof and put it on the towpath. So, um, we have, we've moved out of Atherston. We've done uh, seven locks uh, where, to where we're moored. We've got another four locks to do today and then we're going to turn around and come back up and do those four locks again uh, because the Ashby Canal is now open early than expected uh, repairs are completed uh, so we're turning around going back 10 miles uh, to do the Ashby Canal <laughs> so we're looking forward to that aren't we yeah because it's uh, it looks so much more remote so much more beautiful countryside around whoops yeah, he's dead, he? <laughs> I think we both feel that we've done you know some nice towns but our fair share of towns for a little while um, and so we're gonna have a, a few weeks break up in the Ashby yeah so um, that's we're just gonna take our time pootle along <laughs> and uh, get back to where we are one good in about a month's time I think one good thing that's happened for us being stuck in one place for four days though is looking out of the boat on the same hedgerow and uh, you know we were talking about spring whether it's here or not but over three days we've watched the buds on the hedgerow change from tiny little you know just green buds to really opening and you would never see that normally you wouldn't sit and watch <laughs> buds changing from day to day no, so. we've had the same view out the same window every day and there's a distinct difference isn't there no noticeable We've got spring flowers just beginning to come out in the on the towpath. Archie is just about to go on the railway line. Archie, come on, get down. <laughs> oh, it's just going up there onto the railway line. We've had Archie for two years today. Yesterday, oh, yeah, wasn't two it? Years. Two years yesterday, we, we picked him up from the Dogs Trust in Norfolk. Um, yesterday Jess decided to give him a birthday present by throwing him in the canal. She knocked him in <laughs> while they were playing. Um, he was most disgruntled, but he, he recovered happy, in front was of he? the fire, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Some flouncing around in the boat went on <laughs> afterwards, wasn't there? They're friends again today. Not by me either. <laughs> and people have been moving their boats in this wind, but a couple of times the boats going past have almost hit us because they're just getting blown. Mm so much to the side of the canal. One person suggested it took three of them to hold the boat over while they were getting the lock open. <coughs> so, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> We've just decided it's not worth it. We don't have to be anywhere once again. No. So, we just got itchy feet now. Right. So, so what are we doing now? We're walking into Atherston, which is a nice little town about a mile away, because it's market day today. And what we're hoping to get from fresh veg you know what i'm like uh, we found a nice recipe for cauliflower and butter bean well they're not meatballs you can't call them that but they look to all intents and purposes like meatballs so um we're gonna have a bit of a cook up this afternoon i think right all right now we won't be cooking this afternoon we're moving this afternoon oh, this evening then. So this evening right look at the daffodils That sky looks threatening, doesn't it? Look at that, that's nasty. So here we are again. This is the Canal and River Inland Waterway Navigation in the UK. Basically, it's England and Wales. The reason I've got the map out is just to show you where we are and uh, where we were going to be. And now we've changed our mind. We're going where we're going next. So we're actually here at Atherston and we've come from London up the Grand Union Canal uh, onto the North Oxford and now we're on the Coventry Canal 
Um, we picked the boat up from about here a year ago and this is the Ashby Canal. Uh, originally was going to link Burton on Trent with Coventry, uh, never got completed. Uh, and it's as navigable to here, which is Snareston. So we've decided we're going to do a U turn because uh, we can, and we're coming down here, and then we're going to travel up the Ashby Canal. And I've heard such good things about the Ashby Canal, how beautiful it is. And if we show you the Nicholson Guide, that's the junction there, which is, I'm upside down now, which is there, Marsden Junction, there. And this is the Ashby Canal. And as you can see, we have to get through Hinkley. Uh, which is a reasonably sized town but the further up you get the more remote it is and the more countrified it is and that's just what we're looking for we're, we've been in and around towns too much lately and we want to be more in up in the country and taking these walks here that you can see on the map so that's what we're planning and uh, that's the limit of its navigation. That's This is under con reconstruction. They're rebuilding this section here. So hopefully it will go quite a way further up. So we're going to take our time getting there and getting back. So we'll be back where we are at the moment, I guess, in about a month. So looking forward to it. as a kid and so you've got a well-established old bakers in the town and look who chips up next door right next door Greg's and there's still people queuing up to buy stuff from them when you've got that next door I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors forever. 
I think Fran might be having a little bit of trouble in the wind. Recovery. <laughs> Here we are at uh, Grendon, which is uh, only a couple of miles from Atherston. We've managed to do four locks. The wind is battering us from one side of the canal to the other. So we've come here to fill up with water and uh, get rid of our rubbish. And yet again, we've come to a disposal area and it's all general waste there are no facilities for recycling glass plastic or anything and we're near a pretty reasonably sized town and you would think you'd think that you know they'd have one bin here at least for recycling so uh, CRT another blot on your copybook well it's Saturday morning, we were hoping to move today having been, well we did move yesterday but we've been held up by the wind but I don't know if you can hear it, it's still really windy this morning so waiting for rugby to start this afternoon and we thought we'd do a couple of little odd jobs We? Oui. Well, I opened a drawer this morning <laughs> to get something out of it and the, and the whole drawer front was in my hand and the drawer was just left behind Again. so the gorgeous Richie has got his screwdriver out and uh, yeah we're having repaired drawers, repaired <laughs> cupboard door which was falling off. keeps falling off, it's been falling off for about a week since big brother Bob came and helped with the kitchen and um, shiny brass handles on our side hatch because one of us was about to get our fingers chopped off at some point by the door swinging back. Yeah. So, so oh yeah, I'm in the mode for a bit of DIY, but in, you know, enough's enough. I mean, hand door handles and fixing drawers, that's enough for today, isn't it? I don't know if a little bit of wood glue and two screws counts as DIY, does it? Three screws. Even I could do that. Yeah. But there you are. I think it's... Yourself, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, a walk. A walk would be good. And um, see what that weather's doing. Hope the camera out there is showing what's going on out there. wind seems to stop and uh, gives us a little bit of a sense that it's going to be okay and then all of a sudden picks up. I've never known such a long period of time when the wind is, has kept going. I think it's been four days, five days now, really without a break. Yesterday we did sideways cruising along the canal um, and that was enough. So we'll, we'll hold tight. I think there's better weather on its way. We'll be fine. Well, it's a beautiful Sunday morning. The wind has dropped considerably. We're going to get off cruising. As they say in Birmingham, it's looking a bit black over Bill's mother's. It's Bill. Bill.
Here we are then, day two of the kitchen refit. Oh, and look who's turned up. Brother Bob, the man that can. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the just switch on that, I'm gonna start swearing. <laughs> <laughs>